we want to solve the following absolute value equations. In general, the steps for solving an absolute value equation are to number one, isolate the absolute value on one side of the equation, which in these examples has already been done for us. Step two, we want to set up and solve two equations based upon the absolute value principle, which we'll discuss in a moment, and then we want to check our solutions. So looking at our first example, remember the absolute value of a number is a number's distance from zero. So if we have an absolute value equal to 12, if we think about the numbers that have an absolute value of 12, well, the absolute value of positive 12 is equal to 12, or the absolute value of negative 12 is equal to 12. So the reason we have to set up two equations to solve this is 2x minus 3 could be equal to this positive 12, or 2x minus 3 could be equal to this negative 12, and it would satisfy the original equation. So we have 2x minus 3 equals positive 12, or 2x minus 3 equals negative 12. Notice how this first equation looks just like the original without the absolute value. And then the second equation, we remove the absolute value and change the sign of the 12. So now we'll solve these two equations to find our two solutions. So we'll add 3 to both sides here. This would be 0, so we have 2x equals 15. Divide both sides by 2. This would be x equals 15 halves. And now we'll do the same to our second equation. So we'll add 3 to both sides. This would be 0, so we have 2x equals, this would be negative 9. Divide both sides by 2 we'd have x equals negative 9 halves. Now if we want to check our solutions, we would have the absolute value of 2 times 15 halves, that's going to be 15 minus 3, that's just 12. The absolute value of 12 is 12, so this checks. And then when x is equal to negative 9 halves, 2 times negative 9 halves would be negative 9 minus 3, which would be the absolute value of negative 12, which is equal to 12. So both of these solutions check. We have x equals 15 halves or x equals negative 9 halves. Now let's take a look at our second example. We have the absolute value of 1 minus 3x equals negative 2. This is the kind of problem where if you understand what absolute value means, this problem won't take long at all. We know absolute value is a number's distance from 0, there's no way a distance can be equal to a negative number, so it'll never equal negative 2, which means this equation has no solution. Now, if we didn't recognize this and try to set up two equations to solve, let's say we try to set up the equations 1 minus 3x equals 2 or 1 minus 3x equals negative 2, we could solve these and get values for x, but when we go back to check them in the original equation, again, there's no way an absolute value is going to be equal to a negative number or a negative 2. So at that point, we'd also conclude that this equation has no solution. So as soon as we isolate the absolute value and it's equal to a negative number, there will be no solution. We'll take a look at some more examples in the next video.